Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van Otten Company. It's Wednesday, May 18th. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day. Uh, you were able to separate that corn and soybeans once again after having that relationship kind of move yesterday. But today, corn up two, beans down five and three quarters, wheat down one uh, to two cents really across the board. So it looked like you were actually running out of steam on corn about midday. And then you had EPA come out here and announce that for 2017, they do expect to increase biofuels. Uh, they also plan on increasing ethanol uh, production from 14.5 to 14.8 so a slight increase there um, and to that demand so you know a lot of people were waiting to see this report hoping to see that increase there there's a lot of carry out to chew through especially if um, you know your current carry out estimate of over 2 billion bushel carry out and so that was a step in positive direction and really uh, um, from there you saw corn be able to stay on the positive side only up two cents but nonetheless it was able to fight off that pressure after that report came out uh, beans were a different situation they were big movers uh, during night trade they're up about 12 cents came down fell off down about 16 cents in the morning and then gradually worked their way back higher trading down about two at one point and then settling down five and three quarters on the day wheat market didn't move a whole lot outside markets were actually unfavorable so that could have been a little bit why you're finding the pressure into the wheat market with the dollar up over 50 cents and then crude and uh, the dow slightly negative to steady and then those meat markets had mixed trade for both live cattle feeder cattle lean hogs had a rough day being down about a buck 85 at one point so a little bit of pressure moving forward. Uh, bean meal, soybean meal has been really taking off and that's kind of what's been supporting this uh, bean market, not being able to break too hard as you have that support coming through. Uh, it looks like maybe the forecast looks a little bit wet for some areas in the six to 10 day for the areas that have had some problems through um, Western Iowa and then Nebraska, it looks like they could get some rain, but also uh, looks like maybe some rain should be coming for those areas that are extremely dry in North Dakota, parts of Northern South Dakota as well. Um, but we're gonna be waiting about five, five days out to see that. And then moving forward, the next 14 days do look above average temperature. So planting should continue to be supported there. Otherwise you're limiting uh, very limited fundamental news, not a whole lot out there. Uh, I think people are waiting until Friday to see if managed money, how long they are as far as those soybeans, if they are near record long um, and that should be an indicator of, of moving forward what we're going to do from there you do have a cattle on feed report on Friday that should offer some um, direction as far as these meat markets go and I think people are really seeing I'm um, waiting to see how cash trade comes in with cash trade live cattle is well over futures and so that relationship needs to start working together some way somehow and I think cash trade is going to be uh, an indicator of whether or not futures need to rally or not moving forward into the last half of this week other than that the news is very limited I do have to close with a disclaimer trading futures and options involves the risk of loss and not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.